Hey folks, welcome to Turf Talks. I'm Ron Scheffler, Senior Product Manager for Bobcat Moors, and I'm here with Dan Steibrill, Product Training Specialist for Bobcat Moors. And today we're going to be talking about proper zero turn mowing. First, use your operator's manual to become familiar with the proper operation of the controls. It's important to know how to stop the machine and disengage controls quickly before you begin mowing. Check for debris and hidden objects that may be lying in the yard and keep bystanders, children, and pets away when you're mowing your lawn. Stop the machine if anyone enters the area. Now take your time and practice laps around the perimeter of your lawn. Begin by making two to three laps around the perimeter of your lawn. Pushing both of the control levers will move your zero turn mower in a straight line. Pushing one control lever farther forward than the other will cause you to turn in the opposite direction. So pushing the right control lever farther forward than the left will cause you to turn to the left. And mow in straight rows. Once you have the hang of driving in a straight line and making smooth turns on your zero turn mower, go to one end of your yard and cut straight lines across the grass. You should continue cutting these straight lines back and forth, turning around the perimeter area that you previously cut. And learn to make a three-point turn. After finishing a pass, make a slight turn toward the uncut area of grass. Stop and reverse by pulling back on the levers. After completing the turn, pull harder on the lever facing the previously mowed area. Straighten out by pushing forward on both control levers. The goal is to turn while moving forward or backward rather than spinning in a tight circle. This will keep the tires from tearing up your turf. Repeat this process until you've finished mowing your lawn. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.